everybody, uh, it's Chloe from RC Safari and I uh, just thought I would do one last video here for the end of the year and uh, talk to you a little bit about my selection um, for my choice for 2018's Plane of the Year and the reasons behind it. But before I do that, I want to thank all the viewers and the members of the RC Safari Facebook group for all your support, your likes, your subscription, and to our YouTube channel users. I really support, or really appreciate your support, and we keep growing because of you guys. So thank you very much. Um, this video is dedicated to you guys. Okay, so my choice for the year, and the reason that I'm picking this plane is I have a lot of experience with it and other uh, products. I've purchased a lot of foam planes. And this is the E-Flight uh, Mall. It's the M7 uh, Mall. And it is my choice for Plane of the Year uh, for 2018. And the reason that I went with this plane is it's just overall, um, it's got a lot of features that come with it right out of the box that other planes ne don't necessarily have. So let's get into a couple of those things. And the first thing I wanna point out on this plane it's my absolute first thing I check whenever I purchase a foam plane now. The first thing I'm checking is this baby right here, our rear vertical stabilizer. <clears throat> On this plane, you have the ability to, if you mess it up, you can unbolt it, take it off, and put another one on. And I've actually already did that with the plane early in the year. I had a one, I flipped it over one time on a landing and uh, it just come down in some thick grass. We've all been there and done that, and it flipped over. And what it did is it, it kind of bent right here. Well, the plane flew, it flew good enough, I suppose, but I wanted to get it all back into pristine um, order. Now, I, like on my other plane, I have a biplane, a PT-17, where the, the rear tail is not replaceable, all, and it flipped over and it snapped right off. So the only thing I could do was purchase that little uh, fuselage sitting over there, that yellow one sitting in that mess over there. And one of these uh, days during the winter here, I'm gonna transfer that whole plane over to that new fuselage. And it's gonna be some work and some money for that baby. It was not cheap to buy that fuselage. So this thing here just cost me a few bucks and uh, put it on, ready to go. So whenever I purchase a foam plane now, this, it's the first thing I look for this thing right here and if it doesn't have that then it's already <clears throat> you know I'm already starting to raise other flags about the plane whether I want to own it or not because I'm getting really a, a lot of foam planes and trying to keep up with the maintenance and the, the fixing of them <laughs> it's a lot of work a lot of time and a lot of money so this this really made it just awesome for me and, and I love it the other thing about this plane is it does come with the floats uh, with it. So right out of the box, you're not purchasing any other float set. It's already geared in there. It's got really nice, I mean, you see here, really nice, substantial bush tires are on there. Really good landing gear. Takes a, a hit. Um, the other really nice thing that I didn't see on many other uh, foam planes is this baby is scale. It's got scale looks, it's got a pilot inside. Um, and it, I wanna say, for me, this plane is in a category of its own. It flies like a balsa plane. It's even got some balsa material through the body where it's built. So it gives it a nice stance and a nice you know, structure to the, the plane's uh, build. I've had very few um, complaints about it. Um, I can't find really any serious fault on it. The only thing I would have liked to have had is, is a bigger version of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it runs on a 3 or 4S. You can put a 2200 uh, or up to a 3200 in there. And here is our cockpit. Now, one thing I did have to do on this is over time, I've had this for since this came out, and it started to get a little squirrely up here. And what I did is I bought some touch-up paint to touch it up around the edges. And I went to Home Depot, and this is the touch-up paint. It was the perfect match for it. 
So I'll take a picture and put that in there later. And it matched my cover and everything perfectly. But you can see the nice wood in there. I put a nice big Velcro strip in there to hold my battery. It's top loading, so there's no underneath loading of the battery. It just makes it super nice and super compact. You'll, you'll really love this, guys. If you don't have a mall or you haven't tried the mall out yet, you're going to say, ooh. When you get one, <laughs> you're going to say, wow. This, you'll see what I mean. It just doesn't fit into the same category. It's not fair to compare it to anything else because there's nothing else really that comes close to what this thing has going on. It's got a really nice spinner. Um, <clears throat> it's got the safe mode in there, guys. You can take your little antennas and they do come off. Um, they just pop right out, so if you flip your plane over, you can get another, you can get replacement parts there and just snap those back on. Um, after a year, nearly a year of use of this plane, the only thing that I did uh, do to it is, like I said, I replaced my tail because of my own, you know, piloting, um, and I did have to replace one servo. One servo, it... It uh, locked up on me, and I went ahead and put a brand new servo in. They just use the the rear servos are just held in with like kind of like this uh, silicone white silicone stuff. You just pull it right out, and I just hot glued another one in, and it was super easy. And it was just a few bucks for the servo. Overall, for the entire time that I've had this plane, there's not been another plane that has I've got more use out of, more value out of, um, more enjoyment of more I've grown as a pilot flying it's helped me to prepare to transition over to my gas flying uh, no other plane that I've been flying has been able to do that for me um, so that's why this year I for me for 2018 for RC Safari the plane of the year the e-flight mall the M7 mall guys now I do have one um, honorable mention as far as uh, I would say it would be the runner-up to this. And, and I'm choosing planes this year that are for the masses. It's not going to be the big warbirds. It's not going to be something that you've got to be um, more accomplished in. It's for the average, everyday person that wants to get into flying or have been flying for a while, you know, phone planes. And, you know, they're ready for something a little bit better. Let me stick this guy over here. So my runner-up here is our FMS Kingfisher. And again, for a lot of the same reasons, I would say that this is, it's got a lot of technology in here that other planes uh, haven't employed yet, but I think they should. Uh, one of the really nice things right off the bat you're going to find with this uh this FMS Kingfisher, as you're going to see these, these, I left them nice and dirty so you can see this is a bush plane, it gets used a lot. Look at that landing gear, guys. Look at that. Solid, heavy-duty aluminum mounted to a nice, pristine plastic mount that goes all the way through up into the body and mounts. It is rugged. I haven't found anything as rugged as landing gear or tires. I mean, look at these tires. If you want some cool tires that look like rubber tires, that feel like rubber, I mean, they are dense. I can't even squeeze those things. They are dense. They're nice. Buy their tires, <laughs> even, and put them on your other foam planes. I'm thinking about getting these tires and throwing them over on a few other ones I have. Um, another great feature of this plane is I, very, I had very little to no tools to actually put it together. It all snaps together. They've got nice little clips that come off. Takes your top off. The wings themselves actually snap into place. Right here, you can see here, you just press that button, pull your pin out right here, this wing comes off. You slide it back on in. It's you know, not that big that you need to take them apart because I think this is, will fit in your trunk or your car pretty easily or your SUV, no problem. And it gives you a nice generous cockpit top loading for your battery. 
Um, they recommend a 3S. I have been uh, flying a 4S in here exclusively. No problems at all. We even have a tow hook here to pull your sailplanes up with. Um, it's really lovely. Um, very strong, nice laser cut mount inside um, on, on hardwood. Look how thick this styrofoam is. I mean, it's just so thick. They are very generous with their foam, and it is stiff. If you want a plane, especially if you, you want to, you know, teach somebody or carry, like we use this as our, our, our run cam plane, uh, you will be find, find it very hard to find anything as thick as this one, this FMS. And we put some Velcro strips on it here and here. We have been carrying um, uh, run cams up in it to record other things with it. You guys, it doesn't end there. It also comes with not only the floats, but you also get a set of skis with this one. So you get all surfaces are covered with this plane. You get everything. And, you know, I think the only thing for me that didn't make it the plane of the year was that the tail, the rear uh, vertical stabilizer is molded into the body. So that for me was like, eh. That wasn't um, something that I was going to say, yeah, that set it over the top. But what made it, you know, be something that was the second runner-up was the technology that was put into this, the extra time for all the molding they went through to mold all these extra pieces. They didn't reuse other molds from other planes or take another plane and just slightly modify it and repackage it out there. This is, you know, a ground-up design, and I think that that deserves you know, the credit that it's due. Again, all this stuff here just clips everywhere. Just You just unclip it, this will, this will all come apart. And it's that easy to start fixing and replacing stuff. Now for this one, you would have to replace your whole body to replace a vertical stabilizer unless you want to glue it on and so forth. Uh, but uh, again, you know, I fly in this one, I fly 2200. Uh, 4S batteries. The 3200 is a little too heavy for me. I don't think it flies as nice. The 2200, um, put the, that in there. 4S, you'll love it, guys. So, yeah, the Kingfisher and the E Flight Mall, the E Flight Mall being our plane of the year. Uh, again, I'm Chloe, and um, this has been RC Safari for 2018. I want to thank everybody again. Please um, help share this video and subscribe to our Facebook group, RC Safari, and our YouTube channel, also RC Safari. All right, guys, Happy New Year. Take care.